good day viewers. Welcome to a new game called Dangan Trompa. Another episode also the Despair Girl. I'm Shadow Blade. Break it back here. Man, that's a long name for a game. Well, makes sense. Anyway, it's my first time playing this. I watched a Dangan Trompa before. <laughs> so I wonder if he's here. You mean? Hmm? Komaru mode, despair mode, genocide mode. Working hard on normal girl mode. And this voice. Oh, okay. Genocide mode. You want me to go just genocide mode? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what genocide mode I do. I don't even know it myself what genocide mode. If you want me to go there, then that will be. Anyway, how do you play this game? First, let's set up your camera. With auto camera, you automatically follow the character you're controlling. And with now manual camera, you can control the camera with the right stick. This can be changed in option later on, so choose the one you like for now. You like manual? Yeah, I like controlling on my own. According to what I've heard, the world is round. But, is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Huh? <laughs> like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But, I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. Is it Makoto? It's female. No, it's not. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. Am I? My name is Komaru Naegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. Wait. Naegi? Is that Makoto's last name? Yes, it's also Makoto's last name. That must be her sister. <laughs> so, I'm preparing All for All right! Ever since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. It's been a year and a half since my imprisoned life began. Can you believe it? A year and a half! So long that I've become completely used to this life. It's frightening how well humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. This whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. 
I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> Huh? Excuse me? Hello? Huh? What? What happened? The door's... <gasps> twitchy? Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <clears throat> Please! Save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please! Save me! <laughs> I don't want to live this life anymore! <clears throat> Whoa. 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 Don't want you dying now. She's pretty cute. That looks like a robot. Whoa. Break the door down. There was nothing. He's the bear. Why is the robot? I can hear the It's the bear! I remember that being a robot. I remember it being something like but a robot? Wait! What's going on? Oh. Hello. Uh, uh. Hello. Hello. Where, 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 where are you going, huh? Where are you going, huh? Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Oh. How can I run? What am I gonna do, guys? Spin around? Are we gonna dancing at the table together? Uh, uh. We're dancing at the table. What am I gonna do? I think you need to head outside. I see. Little more. Hello. Ah, see ya. See ya. Where's the you. elevator? Run. Why is there a fire? Whoa. I can't get through. Don't come out yet. Those fire kind of look like drawings. Over <laughs> <laughs> here. A, 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 a black and white bear. What should I do? What should I do? What am I gonna do? Run, you know? Someone help me! I can't run forever. Elevator, good timing. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry! Come on, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Your has died. What? Wait, wait a minute! I know you! You survived? Whoa. <laughs> nice! A head flip. You must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. How did you survive? How did you survive? I remember you. Where's Makoto? Yeah, where is he? Uh, uh, Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? 
Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Oh, he must have been Makoto. Yeah, I remember. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. There's no end to them! Bring it on! More of them! What should I do? Should. Do you really have an option other than run? It's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. Oh, it it appears to be effective against these monokumas. The robot after all. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here! I never play any Danganronpa than this. This is my first time playing a Danganronpa. Danganronpa is a different version of game. Here it is! Restaurant. Huh? What? Is it outside? For one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Miss, now please! Call the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. I'm hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is. So I saw a shadow a little while ago. I mean, also in the old Emergency! Map. Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! God, take refuge immediately! I repeat, citizens of Toa City, take refuge! You say that, but... Bastard! What should I do? I gotta get out of here!
Let's see. It's time for a tutorial. If you press LT, you ready for a hacking gun. Press stick on focusing in the retire. If you press RT with the gun out, you fire. You fire the truth bullet. Huh? Great. I got some more sort of bullet here. Sonic ammo. Pressing the X button opens the truth bullet selection screen. You can switch to truth bullets with the direction of the keypad. You can also switch to bullet outside the menu with the directional button. Try using all the all the multicolored truth bullet against the Morakuma. This makes no sense! Why is this happening? Is amazing. <laughs> yeah, then. Then I'm definitely get gonna get out of here. Perfect. Detect. Oh, that's. I think that is the. Oh, that's the. Cool. Oh, the other. They're dead. I think you picked the others. Oh, they're okay. all dead. Hey, buddy. What's with this bear? Jeez, I I heard something. Enough already. Did I hear something? Yes. Hello. Do zombies really say rawr like that? Um, no. I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. Tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh, wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Don't come over here! Please stop! Come on, stop! stop. <laughs> Pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye! Are they the enemy or something? Little, I think so, little brats. Please stand by. I am standing by not you, TV. 
Radio Opening. I'm gonna fight a robot in this game. Okay, this fairy girl's dagger for another episode. Prologue? Prologue, the warriors of hope. Is this a double save or not? I, I don't know. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder, the violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house, and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. Look at those things. Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. Hmm? I said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Here, <laughs> supposed to be here. That suit, 
it's the same as that Biakia guys. Uh, are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? How did you know? I, I was told by a guy named Biakia Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. But what about you? No time. Yeah! <laughs> Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, the town. It's in ruins. Dad! Mom! Makoto! Makoto? What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He... he told me to run, so I... I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please, you have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Who's that? Oh, and as for this town... I don't know. Are you all right? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever yeah, since it? the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. 
But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Hear what? I don't hear anything. Is that... singing? Now I can hear it. Oh, yeah. Over there! <laughs> A kid? <laughs> oh. Get back! This way! Get off! That bear knows how to fly. He just did. Another one? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Hmm? Are you okay? Who's that? I don't know. Did someone save me? Mm -hmm. Or save her? Where am I? You look completely exhausted. Who... who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all... I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. Then, the riots. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A... a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Ah... 
But you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. What's going to happen to me? <sighs> huh? Oh, apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people, and the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. So that's why you pass. What? What are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all, which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Game balance? Game balance? Oh. <laughs> oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. I think so. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. He seems nice. I'll be going on ahead. I mean, he seems like he's dead. What's up? He's uh, very servant. What the heck? What is going on now? Well, can I save now? Um... Is there a Move. Ah! Time for another tutorial. Looks like you obtained a move. Move is a truth bullet that can activate some machine with super powered hacking magic. Trying on the panel with the red light. Oh, I know you. You probably remember, but you can press X to change ammo. Yes, I know it's X like to change ammo. What? Yep, he did the clear. It's unlocked. I'm scared. Oh, I got ammo. Time for another tutorial. Time for another tutorial. Now you can put some time with the hacking gun. Let me tell you something. The red left eye is the weak point for the Ormonokumas. Nice shot. Shot that weak point will break and most Monokuma go down in one shot. I see. Plus, after you hit the weak spot, break ammo will give up one power shot. It's one of a shot. One for shot. That's why it's stronger than the regular break. Now, that's killing two birds with one stone. If you think you're so hot, why not try aiming the weak point? Yeah! I don't know if I can. We there it is again! Hello. Oh. Hey. I think Why did I get close? I think it's gonna turn. Oh, it's gonna turn. Oh, it's gonna turn. Gun. It's weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? I guess you have to upgrade it for you to shut the bottom Kuba. Remember when he shot? It's, it's somersaulting, right? Yeah. I don't think he's gonna turn around. 
Kidding me? What is it? The spikes up there? That means I'm gonna get trapped. Huh? Did I just get locked in? <laughs> Maybe I should try to move something again. Move. Go up to the room past the stairs. I'm out of here. What is this area, though? I want to know too. Oh. Those brats. Hi. You, you're those kids. The kids who were on TV. Oh man, I'm famous. I'd autograph your back anytime. <laughs> I can only write using a chisel, but if you don't mind that, I can sign your back, too. We accept presents as well. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. Or something? Um, I think they just uh, Oh, that's right. Big Sis doesn't know us yet. Well, I guess we should start with introductions. All right, let's start with me, the leader. Next to intro. I'm the super duper leader that unites the warriors of hope with a bang. Masaru Diamond! Yep, copyrighted name. My special subject was P.E., so they called me Lil Ultimate P.E. I'm the P.E. king who can do every exercise ever. Running non-stop 24-7, 365 is easy as pie. Oh, I almost forgot. My job in the Warriors of Hope is the hero. And as hero and the leader, I'm going to be the new ruler of this town. I'm the leader of the Warriors of Hope. Hero class, Masaru Diamond. I always give 100%. My favorite class was gym, so they called me Lil Ultimate PE. Aha! A hero, the leader, and the Lil Ultimate PE. I even impressed myself. <laughs> You're far too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All he did was win rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> He's a leader of rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't make any sense. True. Doesn't matter. I'm still the leader. I won, so I'm the leader. The leader! Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the sage, Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the vice leader of sorts. The intro. My name is Nagisa Shingetsu. In the Warriors of Hope, I act as the Vice Leader and Sage. When I attended elementary school, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Of course, social studies is but one area of my expertise. I excel at all scholarly pursuits. I was labeled Little Ultimate Social Studies because I was raised to be among society's elite. And I suppose I am a babysitter of sorts for the Warriors of Hope. Monica excluded. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Huh? Little Elementary School. Hope's kids. Peak? You mean... that Hope's Peak? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I... I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the Academy. Huh. 
such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Komori. You know how when you stare into moving bicycle spokes, you get all scared? Like, for some reason. You imagine how painful it would be to put your hand in. Oh, um, my name is Jachiro Kamuri, and her skin isn't yummy no matter how you cook it. Huh? I was really good at arts and crafts, so they called me Little Ultimate Art. If it's arts and crafts, leave it to me. I can remove nails and varnish and things. I do the priest thing for the warriors of hope. Oh, and also, I wonder if aliens exist. Okay. Okay. That was weird. And you aliens. specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. You said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. Oh, we heard you already. Oh, my chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw. Reach inside and scrape my nails off. Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. I don't know who this one is. And also waiting for a plane Where takes too long and spring break is too long. Oh, did she? I remember. Remember? When the opening? Yeah, I kind of forgot all, all of a sudden. Uh, um... Well, anyway, don't worry about Jatiro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe! Oh, sorry for the late introduction. Kotoko. My name's Katoko Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. Fighter? Ahoy! A girl! My name is Katoko Utsugi, and I play the fighter in the Warriors of Hope. You might think the fighter would be a boy, but nope, I'm totally a girl. I love girly things and peeled chestnuts. If it's totally adorbs, I love Why it! Do you have wings? And I was pampered as the little ultimate drama in elementary school. Oh. But who cares about that old stuff? I'm so happy to meet you. That's what she is. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. <laughs> Aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts. Uh. Um. Hey, yeah. did you know kangaroos can jump backwards? Can they? No, they can. And, and, and believe it or not, snakes have ears. Ew! No, snake doesn't have any ears. The way we're looking at snake doesn't have any. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies. Monica is a mage. Monica is called Monica. Right. Monica's a mage in the Warriors of Hope. I was known as Little Ultimate Homeroom while I was in elementary school. You might think there are no ultimates and commons in a class like Homeroom, but there are. For me, my skill isn't really about uniting people. It's about getting them all to help me. Believe it or not, I bring together a lot of wonderful people. It would be nice if you could be a wonderful person for Monica too. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Lil Ultimate Homeroom. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom! The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! 
Ah, uh, but you are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. N no The Warriors of Hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody really wants me in the group. You don't look like a group of heroes to me. And I'm the party leader, which makes me the number one king of this town. Yeah, we get that. Uh, um, you... You kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings... Joking around? Sorry. I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff... Just kids? Oh. Huh? Okay. Aw, that's the only thing I can say. Just aw. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered like the sound of bloody chopped meat. <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages. <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. Is she really a mage or just a title? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Yeah! Monica's smile is so adorbs. Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up. N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please stop all of this. We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made up children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids. Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise. Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. But can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Uh. It doesn't have to make any sense! That's no. all! Huh? If Monica wants it, it happens! That's how it is! Uh-oh. Th this is bad. Monica's mad! It's going to be alright, Monica. Please, don't get upset. It's all going according to plan. That's right. If Monica says it, then white is black, cats are dogs, and um... What else? Oh, please. Oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? Hey! How dare you make Monica mad! That's the last straw! As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down! H hunt? Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. It was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Is what? Demon hunt? Hunting. Demon Ta-da! Hunting. Demon hunting! Demon hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the Warriors of Hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun. And our very own Monica came up with it. See, Monica? We're going to play our special game. No need to be upset now, right? Might be a murder, Hunter Mary Skelter. Mm. 
Yes, yes! So exciting! Let's do it! Come on, hurry up and let's do it! No. By target, you mean... You, hurry up and prepare the device. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay, then. Now we're ready. All right, let's go hunting. W wait, wait, hold on. This is a prank, isn't it? You're just kidding around. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I just get killed immediately. I'm, that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I have this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. Oh, he's hiding the gun, right? I think he's on my side. I guess so. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Uh. Hey! No talking without the leader's permission! You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut! <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it! W why What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez! You're too funny! <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt! We play the games because they're fun. Duh! That's the only reason? You're only really surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. But, to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. There is still much work to be done to build our paradise, yet here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants it done, so it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. What guy? What is the social one? True. I'll have to make you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies too. Hey, Monica, what about me, the leader? Why? How can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're, you're not normal. Hmm. Of course, an adult sees us as abnormal. But who cares what? Also, Kumaru Naegi, in your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path, because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You are falling into an abyss, a darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this!
Dude, the grass just went up and went. Look at it. This could be one long game. I say so myself. I'm pretty sure this could be a little hard one. A child's ears are... Wonderful ears! A child's eyes are... Adorable eyes! A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! Why is it so big? To gobble up the demons! <laughs> All right, game on! Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it! A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my! It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter! At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader! Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great! Someone go buy some! Leader's orders! <laughs> and just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Alright. Do your best, Miss Protagonist, with your lack of distinct characteristics. So common, so dull, so boring. Guess you really was on your side. That's a prologue. Yes. To be continued. Say, finally. Finally. Okay, I will not continue for the very it's been one hour already. It reminds me of that at gay at the game I play. Yeah, so we'll get the next part like I said. So look at this game's gonna be real hard for me. But I'm ready to take the, take on the challenge. I sure hope so. And where's your ally? I got no ally, I guess. <laughs> no, this one of the opening. So we'll figure out next part of the video. But that's all. Please put a subscribe and a like. And we'll continue the next part. So this is Shadowblade and Dragon Fact. We'll see you next part of the video, guys. See ya.